Hello, um, my name is Dr. Sachin Modi. Uh, I'm an interventional radiologist working in the University Hospital Southampton in the United Kingdom. So the liver is the second largest organ in the body after your skin. It is just below your right lung and is protected by the lower ribs on the right hand side of your body. The liver acts like the main engine room of the body and has many important functions such as storage of nutrients, conversion of fat into energy when the body needs it, production of bile, helping the blood clot and breaks down harmful substances as well as, well as many other different functions. So primary liver cancer means the cancer that has started in the liver and a cancer is when abnormal cells start to divide and grow in an uncontrolled way. The cells could eventually grow into the surrounding tissues or organs and may spread to other areas of the body. Liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma, often abbreviated to HCC, is the most common type of liver cancer. Around 6,100 people are diagnosed with liver cancer each year in the UK, and that's approximately 17 new cases every day. It is three times more common in men than in women, and the risk of cancer in the liver gets higher as we get older. Cancer that starts in the liver, primary liver cancer, doesn't usually cause many symptoms in the early stages. When patients do have symptoms, they can include weight loss, yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes called jaundice due to blockage of the bile ducts, itching, feeling sick, having a swollen tummy, loss of appetite or feeling full after eating small amounts, pain in the abdomen or in the right shoulder, or a lump in the right side of the abdomen. You should see your doctor should you have any of these symptoms who can refer you to a specialist. And further tests may be carried out, such as blood tests, ultrasound, CT or MRI scans. If undiagnosed or untreated, the consequences of liver cancer can be fatal and early detection and treatment is key. There are various different treatment options for liver cancer and these may commonly include surgery or chemotherapy. One of the more recent developments in the treatment of liver cancers is interventional oncology, where treatments can be provided minimally invasively through tiny holes in the skin by doctors called interventional radiologists. These treatments have good outcomes with patients recovering fast. Some of these treatments include ablation, which is delivery of small probes into tumours, which release radiofrequency energy into the tumours and burn small three to four centimetre areas in the liver including the tumour. Other interventional oncology treatments include liver-directed arterial treatments. The liver has two blood supplies, 80% from the portal vein, which tends to supply the normal non-cancerous liver, and 20% from the hepatic arteries. Liver cancer tends to take its blood supply from the hepatic arteries, hence allowing the delivery of materials to treat cancer via this route. These can include chemotherapy with beads, or chemotherapy with oil, often termed TACE, or transarterial chemoembolization, or beads with radiation, often called CERT, standing for Selective Internal Radiation Therapy. These products are delivered into the liver arteries via a small tube in the groin or wrist. So if undiagnosed or untreated, the consequences of liver cancer can be fatal. And what's really important is early detection and treatment. So go see your doctor if you have any of these symptoms or have any concerns.